In this video, I'm quickly going to show you a game called Battle Chips that you can play with your students to introduce them to spreadsheets. So in order to do this, we're going to just uh, use Google Sheets in this example, and we'll get your students to make an eight by eight grid in Sheets. So here's my eight by eight grid, and what they'll need to do is create a border, all borders, so it's clear for cell references, for example, C4 or E2. And that's just teaching them about cell references. And you're also going to be teaching them about formatting the cells by playing battleships. So for example, what we want to do is make each one of these cells um, in the shape of squares rather than rectangles. So what I've done, I've just highlighted all of this spreadsheet which means that when I come to change the length um, of each cell, they all move in length at the same time. So there we go. Next, I want to color in these cells in the color of the C. So I'm going to pick a light blue color. And now it's time to make the vessels. Now there'll be three different vessels. You'll have a tug vessel, which we can color in orange. And we'll call that tug. You'll also want to get them to merge these cells. So merge horizontally. And we'll just center the writing so it's neater. Make that bigger. 24 and give it a border so it's clearer. The next vessel we're going to have is a submarine which will be three cells long and we'll put the submarine in purple, give it a border and again merge the cells horizontally and type submarine make that text bigger and center the text now just to make it extra clear it would probably be better to put the word submarine in white so it shows up more against the dark purple background and then finally your students will need to make a battleship so the battleship will be four cells long and We'll make the battleship red, dark red. And then we're going to give that a border. Merge the cells. Type in battleship. Center the text again and make that text white so it shows up clear against the dark red background. Now, what you'll ask your students to do is move each one of these vessels into our grid, our C grid. So to do that, they need to just click on one of their vessels and you'll notice how the cursor changes from this arrow to a hand here and then they can just drag their vessel to where they want it to be on their C. So I'm going to move mine there, move the submarine here, and move the battleship here. So once the students have done this and created their grid with their vessels, they'll be ready for you as a teacher to shout out cell references. So, for example, if you shout out the cell reference E3, that will sync their submarine and they can then change their submarine to the color black and you can instruct them to do that. Or if you say D5, then you haven't sunk any of their vessels and so on. And obviously, if you want to make this game go on a little bit longer, you can get them to create more vessels 
to put in their C. But for a quick five minute game, this should be sufficient. Thank you.